everything it's else. Tough. I got gray hair now. It's crazy. Uh, I think from from the day that I was diagnosed, that I knew that you know I, my season was done. It was kind of like a one of those like man, like this is crazy. Like because I never been you know not gonna worry. I never been hurt or missed a game like that or a couple games in a row. So like this was new to for me. New for me. Um, just going through from October of last year all the way until like. February where I kind of felt like I was getting back to normal uh we had a lot of I had a lot of things just going through my mom mentally and physically so uh once February kind of turned like my I kind of turned around kind of started turning around far feeling more a normal shoulder benching wise and it was just uh I wouldn't say depression but it was just kind of like you know really just didn't have a, a direction to where to go like I mean a lot of, you see a lot of guys who get injured and you know, sideline for so many weeks. Uh, but when it happened to yourself for the first time, like you kind of don't know. It's kind of like a rookie year all over again. You don't know what to expect, to be honest. So as that got on, like, you know, I had some scares where I thought like my shoulder wasn't healing right. Um, I, I felt like it wasn't in the right direction. It wasn't at a certain percentage at a certain time. Uh, but I had to trust the doctors and trust our trainers was like, all right, this is kind of how it's going to go. You're going to feel that you got setbacks. You're going to feel you know, good one day, and then the next day you feel like you went back. So, you know, just trusting in them and, and really realizing that, you know, they was right the whole time. And as it turned around now, you know, I'm not in a rush to just go out there and kill it, but I'm in a rush to just go out there and, and just play football.